I had a nifty idea and I tried it, went ahead with it. What do you know? It worked, so I want to show you. I have this big pad of watercolor paper. Huge. It's, uh, can't remember what, how, what size it is. 10 by 15. It's only 140 pound paper, so it's not very thick. But it's so big that it's not really useful to me that way. If you paint on paper this thin, this big, it'll ripple. And then what you'll have is your water running down into the troughs, being very ugly. It's not even very good quality paper. But I had this idea. What I have is what's very left of a very nice, what's called a watercolor block, paper block. And, and they have uh, gummed the four edges so that when you paint, you don't get a buckle. Um, you do a little bit, but not like when you're working on that. So I cut up some of the sheets from there and I made my own watercolor block. I just, when I did it, I uh, covered both the outside sides with extra paper so that when I put my gum on, which I use this because that's all I have. I really would rather have something else. Um, when I put that on, now then when I it was time to take off the top layer, I didn't have a, a ridge there, which you would otherwise have. Sorry about that. Uh, so I just put a, a wash, a light yellow, yellow wash on there to see what would happen then. You can see it didn't buckle. Even though it's 140 pound paper, I'm gonna be able to just go ahead and paint on this with water paints. Uh, I, used I used clamps and then I spread. All I had was a coffee stir stick and this horrible glue and I spread it on there. You have to clamp it or else it'll go, the glue will go in between the papers and you'll have a mess and it'll be hard to rip off. So you need them clamped tightly. I uh, can't think of anything else to tell you about that except that it worked. And so if you have any garbagey or less qual lower quality watercolor paper that you want to still use, it's a good way to make and it's transportable uh, and much cheaper than buying a watercolor sketch block. So that's what I had to share for today. And that's a good idea.